Severe weather is also an important focus for NASA. A special team is taking to the sky, searching for new ways to spot another big superstorm like Sandy. Manuel Bajorquez flew with them to see the future of forecasting. NASA scientist Jack Dibb is taking flight from Ellington Field near Houston. He's hoping to find the perfect storm high over the Gulf of Mexico. His team is flying this DC-8 in order to better study cloud formations. Dibb says these clouds remain a mystery to scientists, but that they contain clues that can help understand changes in the Earth's atmosphere. We understand sort of the fundamental physics of clouds and all the different kinds of clouds but not well enough to be able to accurately model them over and over again. This is a flying laboratory. There are stations set up throughout the aircraft with 40 instruments gathering data. It's NASA's most complex airborne science campaign of the year. Data gathered on this flight can help scientists better predict when and where the next storm will hit. Tomorrow there's a 20% chance of thunderstorms. What that means is there's almost definitely going to be thunderstorms somewhere in Houston. But right here at this spot, who knows? But it's not just thunderstorms that concern Dibb's team. 2013 was marked by numerous instances of extreme weather. From the typhoon in the Philippines. We need to go, we need to go. To record tornadoes in the Midwest. To some of the largest wildfires on record in California. In addition to understanding weather patterns, scientists can also collect data that helps model climate change. 2013 was the seventh warmest year on record. Well, when you start getting into the tricky discussion about climate change and whether it's real or not, what, what should we do about it? Those arguments inside the science arena are incredibly reliant on models. We have an obligation to make the models better. Up in the air for eight hours, our flight path ended up looking like this. It's one of 35 this past year to help find answers about our changing weather. Answers that for now are still up in the air. For CBS This Morning, Manuel Bajorquez, over the Gulf of Mexico.